What, 16 bit times two? 32X, no one likes it. Um, today we're having a look into a problem which I've managed to have occur on a couple of mega drives. Uh, one thing I'm gonna try is different shielding uh, at long last, uh, or just shielding rather, um, EMI shielding, which I haven't done yet. Um, I've also got the little thing that plugs in the side there, see if that makes a difference. Uh, first step though is to get it warmed up. Um, it's likely something's just failing, so we'll have to look into it and work out what is failing. But uh, right now, it's just going to loop for about half an hour and the problem should hopefully present itself. So what is it now? Just go on 12.35? So we'll come back at uh, just after 1. Started showing issues already. Just watch the, uh, the background shift. Can you stop shooting at the poor guy? Anyway, it's starting already and it's only been about three minutes. So that's a good sign. The fold is easy to replicate, at least on this particular Mega Drive. It doesn't seem to happen on Mega Drive 2s. Uh, why? I don't know. So I'm just going to keep trying. See if we can work out why it's happening. Wow, that got a lot worse pretty quick. I did actually forget about it for a while and went out um, shopping to get some food, but yeah, it's definitely bad. Um, so pretty much the whole display is sort of going sort of like that. It's like that. Except for the overlay, which is apparently done through the uh, from the Mega Drive side. Um, you also notice that, I don't know whether it's just the background causing it to do this, but Mr. Doomhead is flicking yellow. Same as the reds. Yellow or green. Now I have come across that issue previously on a Mega Drive. Uh, which turned out to be the video chip. Video encoder. So, ooh, what do we do next? I'll tell you exactly what we do next. We test with another 32X and another Mega Drive. If the same issue is present, we'll work it out as we go. First step, different 32X. Oh, I'll just Ooh. turn it off, turn it back on, make sure the issue is there immediately. Yeah, that's, that's there pretty immediately. Alright, let's try that other 32X. Where'd I put it? Different 32X. Wow. It's moving all right. So this indicates a problem. It's not as severe though. A problem more on the Mega Drive side. Which would make sense. The reason that it only, it only seems to happen on Mega Drive 1s and not on Mega Drive 2s. Something inherently wrong with the Mega Drive 1s perhaps? Uh, let's let's try it on the other Mega Drive, one that I have here with the 32X that was just plugged in. See what happens. Now. Ah. So it does it with the different Mega Drive and the different 32X. What does that mean? Uh. What 
Mega drives of these. Mm. That one's launch. That one's not. I think I need another Mega Drive. I'm gonna get another Mega Drive. All right, so this is another Mega Drive. Uh, which one? Oh, it's got a metal plate on it. I don't know which one it is. What are we gonna get? So this is using the 32X that was giving me wobbly picture. So it's probably safe to say it's the Mega Drives that do it. Uh, we'll switch. Hmm, we'll switch back over immediately to this one and see what happens. Oh dear, this is getting complicated. <laughs> I love it. <clears throat> yeah, okay. So we'll go with the Mega Drives are the problem. Now the question is why are the Mega Drives being a problem yet the overlay that runs through the Mega Drive is okay? Anyone got any ideas? Oh, I'm going to try that shielding. I'll do that now. Huh. That has to be the first time I've ever installed those clips. I hold the doors open. Cool. And powering on with the EMI shields in place. Just saw a jitter. Oh my god. <laughs> there is no god. Yeah, I knew they wouldn't do anything. There you go, Patrick. Uh, whatever you. Pat, w with Patrick W something. Didn't do anything. Finally tested it. Um. So if I stick another 32X on there, should do the same thing again. And while I've got access to another 32X, why not? And I box one, it's very good condition. And another different, oh, I probably should put a game in. The only game there is to play on the 32X, Doom. Okay, now that makes no sense at all. Why? Why? So that means that this Mega Drive doesn't work with this 32X or this 32X. It works fine with this 32X straight off the bat. Yeah, this Mega Drive doesn't work with this 32X or this 32X, but will it work with this 32X? Let's find out. Okay, so now we're over to this 32X and Mega Drive. Oh, same 32X, different Mega Drive. We shouldn't get any on screen. Yeah, there we go. Which means that other Mega Drive that we got no issues with, what, what does that mean? 32Xs and the Mega Drives are working together? 16 and 32 bit side by side? I don't know. Doesn't, doesn't sit with me right. Oh uh, well, let's put... Let's put that 32X back in here and see what happens. We should get video distortion. We seem to get video distortion randomly. Come on, video distortion, let's do this. 
What? What does that mean? Oh. I saw a Jedi. Yeah, it's doing it. It's not doing it as much, but... It's shifting. The only other thing I've noticed is that the time to onset varies between them. Hmm. What a pain. If anyone has any ideas or would like to test their own 32X in Mega Drive Model 1, just for comparison, um, that would be that would be pretty cool. Thanks for watching. We still haven't learned anything about this issue, and I don't think we ever will, to be honest. Uh, just best to steer clear of the 32x's I guess yeah. Uh, yeah thanks for watching someone find me answers please <laughs>